uh, the story how I got the job at Vulcan is actually pretty goofy because <laughs> of course I was uh, a member of Vulcan Video always renting movies and um, I was in the RTF department at UT trying to get a film degree so uh, of course film was my whole world and what I loved and in particular uh, 1980s fantasies my my niche so if you have questions about Willow or Labyrinth or the Dark Crystal Come to me and I'll probably probably can tell you I even have a foul core uh, tattoo so and a dark crystal tattoo so I'm kind of a nerd uh, a fantasy nerd and um, what I loved about Vulcan was that even though I was a super nerd about this stuff they were like cool we, we respect that and um, so the way I got the job was that I went in to rent some movies with my boyfriend and I saw a really old friend of mine. I've known her since I was like seven through another friend. So we were never like super close, but we were friends and I knew her. And I was just, how did you get the job here? And she's like, oh, I just applied. And uh, so I was like, okay. She's like, we're actually hiring. And I was like, oh my God, like light bulbs went off. Um, I The only job I had previously worked at was a arts and crafts store. So um, not a long, <laughs> Not a long resume, but my passion for film and kind of just my love of, of being around film was there. So I went home, printed out my resume with like my top 10 or 20 films, something like that. And uh, but what I did that was I would you can't ever do for any other place is my cover was a 1980s hairband family. So it was like the mom and dad with like why like big hair and then the child even bigger hair and uh i just i wanted them to uh see my resume and be like this is strange so it it did the job i got the <laughs> i got the call back for the interview and the interview was actually at the south store and it was with uh richard who was the manager of the north store uh greg who was the assistant store manager and uh, diane who was the owner and I remember my we were like we go into Vulcan South where you know it's really it can get really dark in there because it used to be I think it was like a motor an old like a car a repair shop I think before it was uh, Vulcan and um, I may be wrong on that but uh, so in the back there's like this little seating area that was like a, a cove almost and we sit down and uh, they asked me like questions about, you know, films and what I'd like. And, and I remember just being myself in regards to like, well, I'm a Jim Henson nerd and I love David Bowie more than most people. Um, I just love fantasy and science fiction and, and, I, and 80s, 80s films for me too. Like the 80s era for me was my big thing. And um I left and I, I felt good, but at the same time, I know how many people like loved Vulcan and and the opportunity to work at Vulcan. Uh, so the thing about working at Vulcan is you didn't work there for the pay. <laughs> I think when I got hired, I was initially paid, I think like six fifty an hour, which was two dollars less than my high school job. so um, you, don't, you didn't work there for the pay. You worked there because of your passion and because of w the people and what you love to do. And I remember when I got the call uh, that I got the job, I have never been so happy and so excited. And uh, yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience to get that call from Richard, <laughs> who, rest in peace, like he, he was an interesting character. He was an interesting guy, and uh, so he gave me the call. He's like, "Yeah, come, jo come, come work." I'm like, "Okay, I'm totally into this." 